guys i have to make a video on this because you know i don't want to forget uh so i'll make a video on it about this add-on look this is gonna blow your mind you can now if you have this add-on you can now just type someone's username in like softy for example and then you just go here shift a mesh add character and it just magically adds this dude and you can set origin to geometry move him down look at this you have him now and you can you know now you can just make the texture better do this and boom you have him in in blunder like without any effort look at this and if you need to edit some stuff you can do that in edit mode of course but you if softy had his avatar in r6 he can literally just import his avatar without any effort at all you get the texture you get your avatar in there and you separate this stuff just go here m by distance so you do f3 so you select everything f3 tries the quads there and now um you need a uh, r15 block rig and you just select everything shift hold then press ctrl l delete the body parts right because we don't really need the body parts we only need the hat so you just select the hat p selection now you got the glasses and the hat and you can use these for the rig and everything's already set up you didn't export obj so uh how do you get this add-on it's pretty simple you need to go to uh, this website. Uh, let me show you. So if you go to zebrarblx.xyz, I'll link this down below. Um, you get this uh, character downloader and you can also just type it in here and you can download the uh, OBJ from there as well. Uh, but you know, you can uh, also download the Blender add-on right here. So click here. And it should give you download link now of course i've already got it downloaded so you install it in blender by going to blender so you have you're in blender now what you need to do is go to edit preferences go to add-ons now i have the roblox character importer already but i'll just remove it for the video so you go here you click install now you want to locate where it is so for me it should be in here in the download folder i think it's called character importer i think so i'll type that in as you can see add character py as you can see right here okay now i'll uh append the boy rig so i can show you how this add-on works all right so i'm in blender and i have a boy rig and uh for example you want to import yourself right get the right rig put your character on r6 so you can actually import it easily to uh, rigs. So then you want to type in your username or ask your friend to set it to R6 and enter their username. So mine is part of RBLX. I don't need to press enter. I'll just need to have it there. Shift A, go to add character. All right, it worked. Okay, okay nice. Did it work? Why did it say 0.0? Oh, it accidentally ended up in this collection. Okay. Yeah, I was just editing. So that's why it happened. Okay set origin to geometry alt g go to y okay now you have your character you want to move it so like that like that okay now you can go here you can do opaque right but sometimes you have multiple material uh which you can do is you can go here horizontal split go to scripting tab where is it oh text editor okay nice create a new one or open it i'll have uh, the copy paste one so, or, or you can download the uh, the blender um py thing so it's material helper so yeah this is a script and then you just run it and then everything should ha be on opaque automatically so for example alpha blend right here just run this automatically on opaque what i do is i just set it here and I just keep it there in every single blend file. So I can just do this and then I can run it easily, you know? So first of all, we need this material. So I'll just go here, link materials. Okay, nice. Uh, or what I can do is I can separate the hats first. So I'll do that. So go tab, go M by distance. Nice. Then press 
Alt J. So you uh, separate, or no, not separate, but trust quads. Now you just want to select a point on each uh, body part. Press Control L, as you can see, and click also the other thing right here. Click Delete and then Vertices. Now you're left with this. Now, selecting these is kind of hard. So what I do is I'll just do P by loose parts. Okay, nice. Now what I like to do is uh, just select the parts. So I, for example, do this and I hide that, for example. And you can unhide it later by Alt H, you know, but I need to combine these. So I'll just combine them like this. So just select, go to top view maybe, go down here, and then just select this, and then press dot, so you zoom into your object, select the needed details, like this, okay nice, move this one, so if you want to move it like, like this, press G, and then X, and then control. So you're moving on multiple axes, like you're moving on one axis and you're moving smoothly, right? Uh, I'm missing one thing, so I can, where is it? Uh, let's combine the hairs, maybe, oh, this is the one I need. There, okay. I'll just move that here, and then to combine everything, just select everything like this. And then just press join, there you go, now I got glasses. I can move this like this. I can go here, I can put this on, as you can see, uh, yeah, it works. Set origin to geometry, of course, and it should work, like that. Now I need to combine everything with this. Now, I, uh, if, if you need, like, hat accessories, like, I should have just selected all of these, and you can combine them with the glasses. So, uh, not the camera. We don't need the camera. Go away. Okay. So, as you can see, we selected everything. Uh, not, we need this as well. We need everything. Everything. Okay, nice. And you can align it by yourself. It's kind of hard, but, you know. This is, uh, if you just want the posing, this is handier for background characters. I wish this add-on was good enough, but Roblox just... It's not, it doesn't combine everything good. So just do this, right, join. Okay, now everything's one. Control P, object, keep transform. Now you got this. Let's press join. Uh, you need to select this, join. Okay, nice. Let's move it back here. And now let's parent this to the upper torso. Control P, bone. All right. Now everything is good, I think. Let me check. Yes, I think so. Yeah, okay. And now you just want to have the skin. So you go here, go to the images, and you want to select Parabes RBLX right here. Uh, let's do the bump a little bit lower. This rig isn't out, but, you know. Use the rig you want to use. And now you got a working rig, and you never opened Roblox Studio at all. So this is really quick, really simple. But also, if you just want to do this, so for example, I'll import soft GB, shift A, add character. As you can see, I guess soft GB in here. And then I can just move him down like that, set origin. Or you can keep him here first and then origin to 3D cursor. And then just click on this, there you go. And now I have a quick pose, you know. As you can see, and you can edit this by just Selecting the dude, merge by distance, tries to quads. Uh, if you want to make it look even better, you can go here, weighted normal. You can even do a subdivision surface if you like to smooth the character out a bit. Uh, but it doesn't always look good. If you like the hats to be sharper, select the hats and press shift E. And then it sharpens the hat out as you can see. But now I got a quick pose with soft. I can even add i5k, I think is the username. Shift A, mesh, add character. Now I got i5k in here. Material helper. All right. As you can see, 
I 5k, okay. Let's get a, I don't know, alpha extraction there. And then go here, shift A, mesh, and then uh, go to add character. Now you have alpha extraction, you know. You can get the whole gang in here. And as you can see, his character is already in R6, so that makes it way handier for us. And he doesn't have that many accessories, so this would be perfect to set up. Um, I can do Mega Oscar 900, probably. And then just go here, Shift A, add character. There you go. Also, if you want to know how, like, if you put your character accidentally here, press Alt G. You can move him back like that. Oscar is posing. There you go. And then material hopper. So everyone already has pose. I need to pose too then. Jeez. Okay. I'll just move this real quick, you know. Uh, fancy feet. This rig isn't really the best, but whatever, it's good enough. Um, like this. There's no fancy feet on this rig. <laughs> this is just a quick boy rig I made. As you can see, we got the whole gang in here. I know this is not the whole gang, but whatever. Close enough. <laughs> I can have more people. Uh, shift 40, sure, why not? <laughs> shift A, mesh, add character. And just set origin to geometry, Alt G, as you can see. Shift. I can add KD create probably. Shift A, mesh, add character. Set origin to geometry, OG. I don't even think this is KD, but whatever. And let's do one guy. And then let's do future noob as well. I accidentally ended my recording, I think. Yes, I did. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Set origin to geometry, OG. This is not future noob as I know him, but sure. It's good enough for me. As you can see, we just got the whole gang in here without putting any effort at all. Like you just typed in their name. And now for the best part, you can select all of them, go tab, F3, merge by distance, F3 tries to quads. And you can all, you can give them all a subdivision surface like softy, control L, copy modifiers that might break it. No, it doesn't. Okay, okay. Um, don't know why it looks like that, but <laughs> wait, why, why is it looking like that? Um, okay, this rig kind of broke, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at this. Why is the rig, why is the rig doing that? What happened? <laughs> All right, skip. Look, we got a whole gang in here, as you can see. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, everyone looks cool. Look, look, look. We never exported anyone. That's crazy. But yeah, that's how you do quick character import. And these can be like background characters for your GFX, you know, like I'm talking like, yo, what's up, yo, <laughs> you know. If you want, you can get even fancier and you can like uh, make them faceless by editing the UVs and adding the face rig and then enabling auto talk so you can make them automatically talk. You can even like add a noise modifier. Hold on, this is a little bit complex, but like go here, control tab, and uh, well, I could probably do it for the rotation. We don't need the location. And I can just give like the X value, like a modifier, noise. As you can see, just put the scale higher. Okay, maybe that's too high. Thousand? Zero point. Yeah, I added the strength to zero point two when you can have them like, like this. 
Well, you'll need to move the original shape key to make it work, but whatever. <laughs> that don't work. Location, rotation, and scale. Whatever. You get the point. You get the point what I'm trying to talk about. You can just set all shape key. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's all I gotta say. Okay. Bye, guys.